glad and give, and give glory, glory to God. God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, my Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old, from everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Son of Man must be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things, and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear friends in Christ, we have heard from the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles that the community of believers was of one heart and mind. I wonder if we would recognize our own communities in this model. I mean, if the community in which we find ourselves, be it a family, be it the parish, be it schools, our place of work, the whole local church, wherever we find ourselves, the whole society, can we recognize them in this model of being of one heart and mind, especially when the components of these communities identify themselves as believers in Jesus. And we can extend this community even to the whole of the United States of America, for instance, and the whole world. But America, because at least America professes in God we trust. So America may consider as a community of believers but can that community be identified as having one heart and one mind? Is it a harmonious community? Is it a, harmon is it a community where what happens to one affects the other for good and for bad? Or a community where everybody has to survive as best he or she can. This community of the first Christians who lived in one heart and mind were able to do this because as Jesus tells Nicodemus, they were born from above. Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born from above. That means you must be born of the Spirit. 
That means you must be guided by the Spirit. So a community where the Spirit is the guide is that community that is able to live with one heart and one mind, live in harmony. Not a community where the guide is what the stock market says, or the guide is what maybe the Congress says. Yes, as citizens we have to you know, follow the Congress, the laws they make and so on. But when it comes to our own personal decision, our conscience has priority. And this conscience is formed by our faith in God. So whatever goes against what God tells us to do, what the Spirit directs us to do, is not what we ought to follow. So being born from above means being guided by the Spirit, living in the Spirit and being guided by the Spirit. And because of this, everything and everyone feels for the other. And the Bible tells us that nobody claimed as his own even the things that he or she possessed because they shared in with one another what they had. We have seen in these difficult times this kind of solidarity, this kind of sharing, and it is very laudable. Even the, the government, you know, is giving us back, you know, the support of the stimulus. But this is something that is temporary, unfortunately. But life in the spirit those who are guided by the Spirit, those who are born from above, live this kind of life in a permanent and consistent manner. It's not something that happens, you know, just once in a blue moon, but it's a way of life for those who truly believe in God and are guided by the Spirit. So I think it is a dream of every person to have or to belong to a community where there is that harmony, that sharing, so much so that the Bible says in this first reading that nobody was in need. There was no needy person among them. But we know in our society there is always or there has always been this great dichotomy between the extremely rich and the abysmally poor. Yet everybody is a believer in some values. For those who don't believe in God, they believe in some values. Everybody preaches about equality, but when it comes to practical life, the gap can never be breached. What is the need of having somebody who is a billionaire living with somebody who is a pauper in the same world? And sometimes even those who are working for that same billionaire are not able to make ends meet. So we are called to bridge this gap by doing our little best where we find ourselves to live in harmony with one another, to share what we have, and to pray to God for the strength to overcome the temptation. The Pope, Pope Francis, in his reflection at the morning mass today, the Vatican says, we call on the Spirit to save us from three things that divide community. He talks about money and power that go together. He talks about vanity. You know, sometimes we can give out of vanity. I remember once the Pope said, you give something to the poor, you can't even look him in the face. You know, you just throw the money at him to satisfy your conscience. You can't even look at him in the face. But sometimes the look, the smile may do more than the money that we throw at him. So sometimes we can even be generous out of vanity. 
to show that we are generous. And then the last thing he talked about was gossip. So let us pray to God, invoke the Spirit, that we all may be born from above, namely, guided by the Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, loved by God and called to form a community of those who believe in Him, let us pray that we may live up to this vocation. Lead all nations into the light of Christ. May they acknowledge Him as their Lord and Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Help us to put aside our selfish interests and enrich us with the mind of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let justice and peace flourish in our country. Show those who are in need that your providence is caring for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick of our pastoral center community, and their families, especially Stephen Hohauser, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayers. For those who are suffering from the effects of the coronavirus, those suffering with the physical illness, with the illness of a loved one, the death of a loved one, and also from the loss of income, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For those who have died, especially for Dominic Russo, and for Timoleon Bermudez, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for all your benefits. And we thank you for calling us into a community of believers. Bend our hearts to your will to build a united and harmonious community. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands to become our spiritual drink. Let's seek our prayer. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and noble of his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these pastoral mysteries, so that the renewal, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our ending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, the Lord, you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are in the Holy O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon the light of fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit and glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With confidence, let us pray to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. To live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Love of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the words of my soul shall be healed. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and rescue and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless and protect you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The matter is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. And have a great day. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus Christ.